What's up, besties? Welcome back to another episode of I E M Besties, and today we have a very special guest. Um, not that special. Yeah, I was gonna say you know, <laughs> I hate when I get called special. Why? I don't know. It's weird. What What's weird about it? It's not that it's weird because then not, it's just like you you raise the bar so high and then like oh it's so. Listen, you are the bar, <laughs> so I didn't raise nothing. Okay, that's. I'm just saying it how it is. There's this thing in like the comedy world. It's like when you introduce the next uh, comedian, you don't hype them up because that's when you set the bar up so now people are waiting to be like you now they have to meet those expectations mm-hmm. so now the pressure's on so now i have to act very special so how would you introduce a comedian going after you and now you can't even i guess you can say now the you can, maybe not even the funny it's more like now you, you've seen him on this you've seen him on hbo mm-hmm. you've seen him on netflix but then also actually no that actually adds more to the yeah, pressure I feel like that would make me be like Ooh, yeah oh let funny. me see what this yeah. guy's about yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'd be like no this Dumb bitch coming yeah, yeah, next. Yeah. And it's me. This, <laughs> this boring, unattractive, ugly guest. So, what's up, guys? <laughs> the most mediocre man you've ever seen in your life. Right we here. We don't know so, how he got here. Right here. It's all just been luck, honestly. Um, Since we were talking about it right now, I wanted to ask you, how much money do you spend on girls, like on dates? Be dead okay. ass. Yeah, like be dead ass. Damn. Don't, don't lie to the girl. Like that. Um. Okay. I'll tell you how much I spent on my most recent date. Okay. Wait, is this the first date? Oof. Kind of. Okay. Ah, oh, man. I, I took her on two dates. First date, it's because I have a problem. He's cheap, guys. No, I'm not cheap. That's my problem <laughs> is I'm not cheap. I, I, I like to spend a lot of money. Cause I don't know. <laughs> no. Take me on a date. Ah. Yeah. Like the first thing we, the first date was, um, I got front row seats to a soccer game and that was, that was pretty expensive. And it was crazy because like we came out on TV. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Like, yes, man. Yeah. Uh, so that was that, uh, did that, she have a good, like, was it a good time? Oh, she had the it? best time. Oh, yeah. Yay. She had a very good did she time. she give you a little kiss at the end of the night? Oh, she got more than a little kiss. Ooh. Um, but that was a long time ago. Oh. but that was you just said that's your last one no no no. that was the one before that one. Oh, that was i think i think that was uh, the ticket was 150 each mm. so about 300 front row yeah mm. and okay. then um some drinks and probably spent like around 400 dollars that day okay yeah. that's pretty nice it was that's, that's very nice. okay what makes you want to spend that much on a girl compared to other girls, and you're like, no, I would never do that. Or I'll just like, take what her out separates, to dinner or what, what do you, you what know, are qualities uh, of a girl that makes you want to spend money on them, and that, and what are qualities of a girl that you're like, mm, I won't spend that much money mm-hmm. on her. It's kind of a, a toxic trait that I have, or that I see is that I see like the girls I'm dating, and I'm like, they don't want no broke guy. Like I can't just take her to McDonald's. I can't just we can't just eat in the car. And and I know and there's girls that love that and I love those girls. I've dated those girls too and they're fucking they're gems. Um, but this other girl, I was like, dang, this girl, she's no regular degular. I can't just mm. do that, you know. So I had to go out, not all out, but I had to make a good first impression. What do you think are the qualities of those girls? Like, what do you notice that are different from those girls compared to the girls that are okay with like eating McDonald's in the car? Uh, kind of the the lifestyle they live. Okay. Like the the uh, pictures they post, what they be doing, so okay. stuff like that. How they dress? Yeah, yeah, how they dress. Cause this girl was like an influencer, so like off the bat, like mm. I was like, I can't just, you know, it's so bad. <sighs> Damn, That's he's my... having flashbacks. No, it's like she's <laughs> he's very <getting> shy. <laughs> he's getting red right now. No, it's just like I I hear myself talk, and it makes not that makes me cringe, but I'm just like, damn, like I, cause I kind of set myself up for gold diggers. That's, that's but it's not it's I not do. gold diggers. I want to clarify that because gold diggers, I feel like, are very very clear that they just want the money. Like that's I'm here true. for your money. I don't care what you look like. If a bitch wants to get treated nice, that's not a gold digger. That's just someone who has different standards. But, I think it's also like self sabotage because, like, let's say I take her out. Like for example, I take her out to this really cool date. Now the one after that has to be cooler. I can't just I can't take her to a cool date and then the second one be like little mid. It has like each date has to step one up, mm. and I think that's I I fuck myself up by making the first date pretty extravagant, mm. and I'm like, damn, what do I do now? Go painting? 
you know. <laughs> Go so painting. So then, how do you feel about guys that don't want to spend money on girls? That are like, I'll oh, power, this bitch doesn't deserve nothing. I'll power to them. Really? Yeah, like they, like it, if the guy wants to spend money on her, then he he should. If he doesn't, he shouldn't. Like, but no, no, no. But like someone who's ex- still expecting the girl to like, if anything, for the girl to be like, oh yeah, okay, like I'll just lower my standards then for you. Yeah, never lower your standards ever, for especially. Um, for broke guys that don't want to spend no money on you. But then also, you know, love, right? <laughs> like, oh, this is such a tough conversation. Because, like, broke guys, they need love, too. But it, it's not about, like... <laughs> but it's, like... there's a there's... broke girls. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not about being broke. It's about being in the broke mindset. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, you have a broke mindset, part, if you're cheap and you're, like, oh, I don't want to do that, I don't want, like... That money's going to come back. Like, that part. Get that steak, you know? Mm-hmm. Get yeah. that steak dinner. Yeah. Like, every now and then, I'm not saying, like, oh, buy me diamond rings. But yeah, I'm yeah. saying, like, some bitches deserve to, you know, like... Yeah. I feel like... Because I think sometimes women don't want to ask for things because men are very like, oh, gold digger. Mm. And it's like, girl, no, like, why shouldn't, you know, if you want to get treated nicely, like, why shouldn't you be able to ask for it? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I, I feel you on that. And especially with guys who I feel like a lot of guys, they let their financial like status get in like on, in a way cock block them. Because mm-hmm. I've met a lot of like, like very pretty girls and very rich girls who they really, really do not care about how much money you have. Mm-hmm. And uh, and honestly, I think this, this last girl I went on a date with, she's exactly like that. She doesn't care. Like, I remember she was like, she and she's like, oh, let's go to this taque, taqueria over here for like our, our second date or some shit like that. I was mm-hmm. like, damn, that's dope. I don't know if she was just saying that because yeah. she knew I didn't have it like that. Like she, so I don't know. I don't think so. No. Tacos are Especially bomb. if it's a second date. Yeah. yeah. Also, too, I feel like I think it's funny that I've noticed that women are more uh, forgiving when it comes to those things. Like where they're like, oh, I don't mind how much money like mm-hmm. this guy makes. Like if I vibe with you, like I will date you regardless. But men, I feel like are more like, no, like I'm not going to. Oh, you can't cook or clean or no, like thanks. they're more, I guess. How do I say it? I feel like they have more uh, standards, like they want more things, but they will give less. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. There's this like quote I heard. It's like um, a guy would date a beautiful girl from that works at McDonald's, but a girl won't date uh, the beautiful man who works at McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, they would. They would. A thousand a, percent. Yeah, literally. Like, Unfortunately, most girls go yeah. for beautiful guys that are... Tr- not even not not even knocking like like the job it's just more of like i said like if you're not even trying to make your life better like if like if you're at a position where you're just going to stay there for years and years yeah, and years yeah, no like ambition. you can't really expect yeah. yeah ambition mostly like you can't expect a woman to stay there but a woman's going to start there with you mm-hmm. if you want to stay in that same spot uh, that's when that i think true. when women are like mm, no thanks yeah and even and even, even then, there's still some that are like, oh, "I love you." I'm so it's watching. fine. He's gonna grow eventually. Yeah, and then there's like let, twenty years later, they're still there. You let them borrow your car. No, the oh amount of God. women I know <laughs> that let their man borrow their car, never, never, waste never, waste their gas. Don't even Ooh. fill up the tank. Oh, that's crazy. Let you know that you need an oil change. Makes, that's crazy. Makes you get off to pump your gas. He's like, he's like, hey, can you let your dad know these lights are on? <laughs> Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> no. I need it tomorrow again though. Can I just drop oh you up? God. Like imagine? Ooh. Oh no. Oh, why can't you just shout out to y'all? But I mean also shout out to the girls who hold it down because I've heard stories of like like rappers who um they their girl will let them borrow his, their her car just so he can go to the studio and make music. That's different and stuff like though, that. because like I said, like that's where the ambition comes in. Yeah, like yeah. if he's just borrowing your car while you're I'm at a- work and he's just chilling driving at his around. homie's house yeah, playing video games. House. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. Dude, Sorry. you know who gives me that vibe? Justin Bieber. Did you guys see the like um just no what's his wife's name? Haley. Haley. She was like out in some campaign thing. Bro, this man literally looks like he's a niño de la calle. And they just like picked him up. And she looks oh, like a strategy. 10 out of 10, bro. I got to show you guys. For he some reason, some terrible. girls like that. Well, like they like that aesthetic. Like the street bummy look. No, yeah. dude, this isn't even street bummy. This is I'm a fucking homeless person and I need to take and this a shower. Is, it's like, these I just rich people. in the bathroom and I'm... Look at this man. Okay, so that's Haley. What the fuck? Like, bro. 
It's kind of like that Adam Sandler thing, you know? No, this but he is also worse looks than dirty. Adam Sandler. He looks dirty. That's what I'm saying. He looks like he needs to take a shower. And look at how gorgeous and beautiful she looks. She's em He's embarrassing to her. I feel bad for her. You think he likes her? I don't. Well, Not even a little bit. I don't think he likes her either. He actually openly admitted that he only married her because he thought marriage was going to be the problem to a lot of... Uh, the, solution the solution to a lot of his problems. Kind of like the way people have kids thinking that mm. that's like the next step. Yeah, it's going to make the relationship yeah. grow. And then, then they're like, fuck, this was not it at all. Dude, but That's it, what he admitted, that he it wasn't what it thought it was going to be. I just feel like that's mean because he sees how the internet like tears her apart. And he doesn't do much. And he doesn't even try. Like, like at that point, he would be like, okay, well, my, my baby girl has a, like, you know, like a campaign. Let me dress up because I look fine as fuck in this video. Let me look fine as fuck for my woman, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that shit pisses me and off. And you know who's a great example who's done that recently? Hmm. I don't know if you guys have been following the whole uh, Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis beef. beef. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, you guys familiar with both of them? No, not the second one. All right, so Logan Paul, uh, huge YouTuber, uh, turned into boxing yeah, and yeah, all that yeah. stuff. And Dylan Dennis, he is the guy who would coach uh, Conor McGregor and like the the grappling and all the all the jujitsu stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Dylan cool, Dennis, cool. he's like a really really good. He's one of the best like uh, jujitsu uh, trainers. people trainers, mm -hmm. right? And then so um, he Dylan Dennis gets a lot of his shit talking. From just learning from McGregor, because McGregor's one of the best shit talkers. Right. So uh Dylan Dennis has been known for like shit talking. He's been shit talking like the Paul brothers for oh. the longest. And finally they announced that they're gonna start a fight. That was gonna be Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis for boxing. Mm -hmm. So they started doing that. They started promoting it, but the way it's been promoted has been insane. Literally insane. Dylan Dennis. So Logan Paul recently just got engaged. Yeah, I saw that. And Ooh. Dylan Dennis the way he's been promoting the fight is by attacking his fiance. <gasps> so if you go on Dylan Dennis's, actually, I'll pull it up right now. If you go to Dylan Dennis's Twitter page mm -hmm. and scroll down, it's all different pic. It's just a picture. I think there's more than 150 pictures <gasps> that have been posted in like the past two weeks of her. Literally, there's a photo every four hours of uh, Logan Paul's fiance with another man. <gasps> like in literally, if you keep scrolling, watch, I'm going to bring this up. What? But like, so but she like got during? her cheating or is it like from a long time ago? Uh, just her past relationships. Oh, that's her mean. past dating. And then he would like clip videos of, because she used to be like one of those models at, um, at Girl Code and Guy Code. Oh. So she'll say some out of pocket shit. Oh. And then so he'll clip the crazy shit she'll say. Like, <gasps> there'll be times like, oh yeah, I just sometimes I just want to wake up and get dick. <gasps> and then so oh. that's. <laughs> that's <laughs> Be that's careful if what you say on the internet, guys. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, if our kids, um, when our kids grow up, that's how their homies are going to talk shit on them literally. for what the stuff we used to say. Yeah, but it's literally insane. And it's to the point where, and then he's got one more picture that he's been like teasing. He's like, I have one picture that can end their, their whole marriage. Damn, that's fucked up. And then so there's a bunch of girls. And how has Logan been responding to that? He recently just responded to it on, a, on this podcast. Literally, I think it dropped yesterday. Where he said that he's like, bro, like, I know my girl. Like, we've had these conversations. She has a past. I have a past. And then he's like, my girl is a supermodel. Like, of course, she has pictures with a bunch of people because yeah. it's her job to be yeah. photographed. But watch. I'm literally just going to scroll and you're already going to start seeing. Like, this is a video of her. So it's just a bunch of stuff like that, right? So it's just that. Um, let me see. Another clip of her saying something, a picture of her with the man, another man, another man, another man, a Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, wow. oh damn. Bitch, that's not another man. That's Leonardo DiCaprio. It's not playing. And then that's the thing. Like, she's like, my bad for her disrespect, but she's been kind of getting tossed in the industry world. So um, Leonardo DiCaprio's been on dates with her. Um there's so many funny ones. I, he got a picture with Bill Nye the Science Guy. You know, People, and I hate that narrative. How do you know she's being tossed around? How do you know she is not right? So that's that's the narrative. Life? That's the narrative. He's yeah, like he's trying like, to create. He's trying to create. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's a woman. Women are very powerful beings, gorgeous yeah. goddesses. She's choosing to mm -hmm. go on these dates. She's getting something out of it. She's probably yeah. living lavish. You know, good for her. Good for him for Logan. defending her. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he's been he's been defending yeah. her. That's good. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Like, how hard is that? Right. Why didn't uh, Justin Bieber do that? No. I, why isn't he doing it like this entire time? Yeah. Yeah. Just, it's because I met with the love of his life, and you don't do that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Didn't I also feel like 
you know, Justin, I feel like has, I saw his documentary of like his life and his upbringing and like the fame <clears throat> since like a young age. Mm-hmm. And I really think it fucked him up. Oh, like, for sure. I, like, I think that. he struggles a lot with like severe like mental health issues and mm-hmm. addictions and all these things. And I genuinely, like I know he's gotten some help and I know he's better, but I don't think he's okay like 100 percent. but i don't think that's fair to bring your wife down just because you can't get your shit together no but it's her choice too like you're choosing to be there like you're married to this man you know his problems you decide to when's enough is enough mm-hmm. and if you're constantly this man has already put you through so much and you're still there at that point can you keep blaming him like when are you gonna when is a woman gonna take responsibility for being there I think a lot of women like to think like, oh, he's doing this to me. He's doing this to me. And like, I get it. Of mm-hmm. course. Yeah, it hurts. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm not saying how you feel is not valid. Of course, it's valid. Mm-hmm. He's your partner, the person you trusted with your life, your love to you vowed with, to be with forever. Like, I understand that. But if they're showing you again and again and again that they're not going to do what you want, then yeah, when the are you going to pick leave. up to leave? Yeah. You know what I mean? There's always that option. Yeah, exactly. And it's I know it's hard. I know it's easier said than done, but... At the same time, like, I don't know. I I definitely saw him in a different light, for sure, after I saw his, like, documentary. Um, I don't know. And I also don't want to pretend to know what it's like to be, like, insanely, like, famous. Like, the pressure that comes with that. Yeah. Because also, like, we, we're creating all these assumptions about what we see on the internet. But mm-hmm. we truly don't know what their relationship is like behind closed doors, you know? We don't know that. Like, we, we could see glimpses of shit mm-hmm. that might look really, really wrong, but mm-hmm. we're only seeing a tiny part of, like, the whole picture. Yeah. So It's like I a second of the Yeah, day. like, I don't know. We don't know yeah. what really is going on, you know? And it's like... I know, but imagine that, too, how fucked. Like, we only see one glimpse, yeah. and that glimpse sucks. It might, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does fuck with you, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think of. I'm like, you're right. Like, we don't know, but what we do know sucks. Yeah. And then, and you, and if you have the power to be like, no, it actually, it doesn't suck. This is how we are, and you don't take that. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird, right? So I feel especially it. when it comes to like your wife that, like you said, like it's holding it down. Yeah, like I don't blame. I don't necessarily like her that much, anyways. It's just more <laughs> to me like I hate because I just hate that I know people that do that in real life. Like mm-hmm. I know girls that dress the fuck up and then their man looks like shit, and that that irritates me because. Mm-hmm. Like, you're always expected to dress up for your man. You always want to look good or else you look full longa or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your man could just pull up in, like, a fucking jersey, which most of the time they do, and a hat. Dang. And you're good. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I'm just saying. I put on a jersey and everyone starts like, where are you going? What game are you going to? When's yeah, the game? And I'm yeah, like, yeah, bitch, yeah. I just want to wear a jersey <laughs> today. Game? And men usually, can wear jerseys all the time. Usually if we wear a jersey, it's because it's a game day. That's not true. I've known people who wear them all the time. God, That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I mean, I like to dress I up for me. Beef. Like if, like you know, I like you if I, like, if you see me dressing up, because I feel, I feel my most comf- my most confident, my most comfortable when I'm like fresh and dressed up. If I'm not feeling confident, that means I don't really have intentions of like talking to you or like mm-hmm. risen you up, because I'm just like oh, I'm just raggedy today it's exactly like, yeah, exactly yeah. like you want to compliment the person you're you're with yeah. or you're going with or whatever yeah. do you guys ever like style yourselves towards the date you're going on like let's say this person dresses a certain way and so you change your style a little bit to kind of compliment them i think when mm-hmm. i did date i don't think it was i don't think i ever got taken on a proper date like that enough to have to think about it mm. Damn. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, at yeah. the time, I don't think... I mean, I was, like, way younger, and yeah. dating wasn't like it I is now. You. Yeah, I get what you mean. People wearing the matching... What is it? Jordans? Mm-hmm. I love when couples match. Yeah. I don't like to. I think it's super You gotta coordinate. Crazy, but I, I like, like when others do I it. I think coordinating is okay. Matching is no for me. Yeah. 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 Like, you have to change. It's Why are like, we wearing the same fucking outfit? Yeah. Mine. His. Hers. <laughs> I used to think that cute. Sh- I used to think my that was so cute. <laughs> uh, I wanted, Those are cute at amusement park. When I was yeah. little, I was like, I wanted to do that so bad. But now that I'm older, I'm like, thank God I never did. I like when families do it all together. Oh, like they'll have the Hawaiian see. shirts. Yes. I remember yeah. when, when I was younger and when Facebook was a thing, I wanted a girlfriend so, so bad just so I can say, like, Saul Gomez is in a relationship. Oh. Boom. <laughs> never had that, never got that. You should have just created a fake profile and, like, Right. Lied. Yeah. Did you ever have poke wars? With Hell your yeah. Crush? Poke them oh all the time. <laughs> I would put like a, a poke and then do like the little colon and the P. So it's like the little tongue face. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I would always like get home from school and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I wonder if they poked me back. Oh, Isn't that crazy gosh. how like we're talking about poking and there's people listening right now that have no idea what the fuck what poking even is. is? Oh my god, that's insane. Think about how old we're getting. I thought about how guys, old. I'm getting younger. Yeah, for sure. I'm only 21, guys. I'm only. Vanessa's only 22 now. Barely. Barely. And I'm 25. But I remember I want to go play soccer and oh my god, everything was hurting. My legs. I kicked the ball and I was like, "Ow!" Yeah. You gotta stretch. Did you stretch? No, I didn't stretch. It's because I was so only, excited. I swear, every every guy that I know that plays soccer, they're like, "Dude, I got hurt. Dude, this." And I'm like, "Did you stretch?" What's well, because like, before no. we didn't have to stretch because we're young and strong. They're like stretching, and Ew, now we're old. Like, hey. Yeah, stretching gives me the ick. Like if I see my homie stretching, I'm like, "Bro." Yeah. Why? <laughs> Actually, like, guys, why are you stretching bending does over? give an ick. I saw, I saw this video. Why can't you touch your toes, bro? I saw this video of TikTok where it's like new ick unlocked, and it's like a girl recording this guy, and it, it's like a, a GoPro underwater one. And <laughs> yeah. she puts underwater, and he's like kicking his legs, like <laughs> trying to stay afloat. Oh. I love that video. <laughs> like new ick unlocked. I you know what's like, funny? Yeah. Before icks, I didn't even pay attention to shit like that. I remember I in my head would be like, that's kind of weird. But I was never like, ew, uh, that's gross. And now I see things like that, I'm like, uh, ick. And now that ick is a thing, now it's an actual deal breaker. Which is crazy. Because before it wasn't. That's crazy. That's insane. No, I think for me personally, I didn't call it an ick, you know, because I didn't really know it was have like a, a name turn for off, it. Maybe. But it was just like, okay, no, I can't do it. <laughs> like, I did date men that I was like, I'm sorry, I cannot do it. Like, I went on a date one time and this guy's hand was smaller than mine. I was like, I can't do it. Mm. Like, I had him, I couldn't do it. You know, lately I've been noticing men have pretty small hands. My hand's pretty big. So no, baby girl. You have a small ass hand. How are you talking <laughs> shit? That's the smallest fucking hand. Wait, really... My hand's big. Let me see. Okay, yeah, that, he does have a big hand. I used to want to be a hand model. Big hand, small dick. I heard that. I don't know. Big, <laughs> <laughs> big hands. I think that's how the saying goes, actually. Yeah, yeah I think that's the it's right actually, one. It's big hands, big gloves. Ooh. Who fucking wears gloves? <laughs> like a glove? Oh, no, I'm talking like... Oh, oh. I, thought I, meant, I was thinking about penises. Oh, no, I was, I was talking about gloves. Yeah, no. Oh, like, God. okay. Talking about penises, guys, I have something very... You have a penis? Excruciatingly painful and embarrassing story. What? what? What happened? Actually, it wasn't that embarrassing at all. I actually had a really nice realization from it, and I'm going to share it with you guys. Okay. So, as you guys remember, last week, Besties, I shared... I think I shared, right, that I was going to go on a date? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I told myself I was going to follow through with this one because the two previous dates that I was going to go on, I canceled last minute. Mm. Um, don't ask me why. I don't know. I just didn't feel like up for it at the time. Um, but this one, I was like, you know what? Me and this guy have been messaging for like a week. So like, I'll go. And, um, we were messaging that much because I work nights and he works days. So like, we'd probably exchange like two, three messages in the day. Mm. but. He texted me the morning of, I got off of work at 10 a.m. Our date was at 1.30, and we had reservations. And he texted me at 10 a.m. to confirm the date. He was like, hey, are we still on for 1.30? And I said, yes, like, still on, we're good to go. So that to me was like, okay, got home, got ready. And I texted him, hey, like, I'm on my way. I live 10 minutes away from, like, where we're going to go to the date. So I picked the spot because it was my first time meeting him. And he um, he didn't answer me, but I didn't think anything of it because, like I said, he had already texted yeah, me to yeah. confirm. Mm-hmm. So then I, I texted him once I was there. And then he hits me with, oh, hey, um, I'm sorry. It's like very heavy traffic. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. So he just. He just so, didn't go? So I texted traffic? him and I was like, you're not going to make it on time or you're not going to make it like at all bitch he just never fucking responded to me and i was already there parked at the place oh wow. yeah so for the first time in my life i got stood up what a bastard is this still the korean dude yeah so let's drop a picture of him yeah I will. <laughs> anyway and then the funny part is that i didn't feel angry i didn't feel i didn't even feel embarrassed i felt more like shocked like damn this just happened to me like this has never <laughs> happened to me in my life yeah a little humbling um i might say um but then i was like okay you know what i'm already here i'm already dressed like and i'm hungry so like oh, let, nice. let me go eat and there's like a korean barbecue there a place that i like it wasn't the place we had reservations at so like let me just go eat mind you i have never gone to eat alone anywhere in my life i've done like i've done like a drive-thrus 
Mm-hmm. But I haven't gone to alone in a restaurant before ever. Mm-hmm. And I've thought about doing it and I've told myself I'm going to do it for so long, but I never have because I make up excuses. Mm-hmm. I say I don't have the time. I don't have the money. I don't have... Like, why am I going to spend money on by myself? Like, no. Like, you know, I make, like, a million excuses. And then I make myself believe, like, oh, I can do it. I just don't have the time. I just don't, you know. Up until now, that's what I believed. And then, so I was like, you know what? Fuck, I'm right here. I'm dressed. I look really good. Like, let me go. It was the most uncomfortable really? situation I've what? ever been in in my entire life. It felt so fucking uncomfortable. I actually started getting so fucking anxious while I was there. Like, I felt like I couldn't breathe. Like, mm-hmm. I felt so, like, I just wanted to rip out of my skin. Like, the waitress were staring at me. The waiters were staring at me. The families near me were fucking staring at me. Like, everybody and their fucking mothers were fucking staring at me. Like, they never seen a bitch eat alone in their fucking <laughs> life. They wanted to invite to Literally, I, I was like, damn, you want some of my food? Like, y'all stay staring at me. But it, I was sitting there and I was like, okay, like, what would I be saying? Like, I was talking to myself in my head, you know, because I made myself, like, not get on my phone. And I was like, okay, what would I be saying right now? Like, if I was on the date, like, what would I be talking about? Like, what would I be sharing about myself? You know, like, what, how would I be portraying myself to this person? Mm-hmm. Like, and I was, like, hella diving deep and, like, trying to examine myself. Like, do I believe these things to be true? Like, who am I? Like, I was literally, Damn. like, I was literally just sitting there, Whoa. like, fucking psychoanalyzing the fuck out of myself to the point where I started f- kind of, like, psyching myself out because I started feeling like I was staring at myself in third person. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, it, You're I was, all sitting across from dude, yourself? Dude, literally, I started feeling so weird. Like, I, it was, like, the most weirdest, like, uncomfortable like, experience of my entire fucking life. And a lot of the things that I was thinking about what I would even say to a person, I was like, but do I really feel about, like, do I really feel this about myself? So I like, really embody this? Do I really believe this about myself? Like, would I just be saying this just to, like, look good to this person, mm-hmm. you know, to seem appealing to this person? Like, and I, it was really introspective. Like, I really, like, put into perspective, like, a lot of things for me. um, Just, like, about how I viewed myself, like, what I believed about myself. And... I truly do believe that I was meant to be stood up because it kind of felt like God was like, damn, bitch, I have to get you like stood up so I could get you to go out by yourself. You know, Mm. like, you know what I mean? Like, Mm. I have put it off for so long, like for so fucking long. And I've been able to go like run errands alone, like go to the grocery store, go to Target alone, like things like that where I'm like walking around, like picking Mm -hmm. stuff. You know, it's not really just sitting there. You know, it's, you know, not on your phone. Like it, it was a completely different thing. So because I have been able to run errands and shit like that, I was like, oh, I could be alone. Like, I could do things alone. Mm-hmm. But actually, like, being in a setting where it's supposed to be, I guess, it's not supposed to social. be social. It's supposed to be, like, a social mm-hmm. setting, you know, and things like that. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, it was, it very, it opened up another side of me that I didn't know, like, existed. Mm-hmm. Um, and it made me realize how uncomfortable I actually am. With yourself? <laughs> With That's crazy, huh? Yeah. yeah. And I was just like, damn, like, and I'm really grateful that I got stood up because now I was like, okay, now that I know how uncomfortable it is, I want to know that I want to keep diving into it. Like, I want to for sure, now that I've got over the hardest part, which is doing it for the first time, mm-hmm. I want to keep doing it. That's I'm, what I was going to yeah. ask. Like, do you feel like it's something, like a position you want to no, put yourself in No, for sure. Again? I want to keep doing it because um, I want to feel comfortable in mm-hmm. my own company. Like, I don't want to feel like I need someone with me all the time. And sadly that's one of the things that i go through where it's like i want to do things i want to go places and i'm always like hitting up my friends or my sisters and i'm like can you guys do this and they're always like i don't have time i don't have money i don't have this so i don't put things off and all because i don't want to do it alone yeah but it's like why not like why don't i want to do it alone you know and um that day like really helped me um kind of realize okay like there is a lot of work to do around this but i want to do it you know Mm -hmm. that's cool and and honestly props to you i always get on my phone I'm like bitch I, first of all i'm an ipad kid so either way girl i'm putting some something on to watch yeah that that's a great topic i was thinking about today but also i want to go back to what no, you said fine. um i realized that um everybody makes fun of ipad kids but like we are the we iPad, are iPad kids, kids. we're kids. the iphone we're the iphone adults yeah so why are we making fun of these ipad kids i never made fun of them i always when i was younger i really liked the movie matilda uh-huh. mm-hmm. And I like it because it got me into reading, but it also got me into, I thought it was cute to get, like, I always wanted one of those little tables and, like, to sit with my family watching TV for dinner. Oh, yeah. mm. Like, I thought that was fun. 
So I and I was always like a TV kid. So I always wanted to sit right in front of the TV. If I was mm. eating, I wanted to watch, watch TV. So I feel like I uh, definitely am like one of the mm. original like fucking iPad kids. kids. Like yeah. if there's a TV, I'm gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, also going back to the solo dating experience, I've been trying that because same. I'm like I I I cannot go out by myself. Yeah. Like usually when I go out with people, I have like four to three people with me. Yeah. So this year I made it a goal to go eat by myself go to a movie by myself and go to a bar or club by myself uh-huh. i did the um I, I did the eating by myself first that one took a long ass time because i was like everyone's gonna think i'm a, a dweeb or something like why is he eating by himself but i went to this ramen spot and i felt like the main character I felt like I was in a movie. Was that guy sitting on Yeah, exactly, yeah. mysterious. But then, like, but then it was also very spicy, so my nose was getting all like. <laughs> all your mocos are yeah. going out. So You're was, like, oh, I don't look at me. Yeah, so was He's also character. Nando said that. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been, I've been doing that more. Uh, so I can, I, I think I can peacefully eat by myself. I've done, I've gone to. I, the reason I do it is because I like feeling like I'm a main character. Mm, okay. Like I'm, I went to go eat sushi by myself, and I was sitting at the bar. And then, like, I made eye contact with this other girl who was eating by herself. And I was like, yo, this is, like, how movies are. And I was like, this yeah, is cool. Yeah, everybody found that. Right? But I didn't talk to her. I was shy. That's, <laughs> that's the next step. Yeah. Should have just bought her a shot. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Next time. Paper a tab. Right. Soju. I don't know about that. Soju one. shot. <laughs> I tried Just buy her a soju shot next time. I'll try that. But would you guys ever go to, like, a bar or a club by yourselves? I probably wouldn't, mm-hmm. safety-wise. Uh-huh. I think what helps me when I eat alone is that I wouldn't pay attention to these people if I was with someone. So even if they are looking at me, like I wouldn't have paid attention to them if someone had came. So why am I gonna pay attention to them mm-hmm. now? Like I'm never gonna yeah. see them again. I I feel like that's when I was like, okay, once I realized that I'm never gonna see these people again, embarrassment really is just a true, choice. Yeah, true. No, and honestly, my friend Olivia, she goes to bars mm-hmm. and clubs alone. I don't know now, but. Mm-hmm. She's told me stories of her going alone and she always has a great time. But I think her intention is always to have fun and mm-hmm. she really embodies that. So I feel like she attracts like fun and like friends and she's very friendly. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it has a lot to do with like how you feel. And I feel like maybe if you go into it scared, like oh, I'm going to get kidnapped, I'm, you yeah, know, it's yeah, like, yeah, I go in like that right? regardless. Yeah. So I cannot do that alone. Personally, I wouldn't either because I do feel like I have some of that like scared energy. We're like, fuck, no, like, mm-hmm. I'm going to get kidnapped. I'm going to get raped. I'm going to get like, oh, I'm going to get everything. Like mm-hmm. I literally like, no, 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 I'm not doing that. Three but for also, one. Literally, <laughs> but also too, like I, I won't, I don't, I don't, I feel like I outgrew the clubbing scene already. Like yeah. I can, I I'll do it on special occasions. Like I went for my birthday, and like if one of my homegirls wants to go for a birthday or something, like, I'll go. But it won't be like before, like how it's like an every weekend thing. Mm-hmm. Like I would go, like I would live at the club. Yeah. That's not my vibe anymore. So I don't think clubbing is something that I would want to do. So I just wouldn't. I would consider more like maybe doing like a museum alone, like something that. Oh, that's cute. Cool. You know, yeah, I feel like yeah. that would be mm-hmm. like really nice. You know, because again, mm-hmm. it's a social setting. You're. I feel like it would definitely feel uncomfortable for me to go. I feel like I would feel more discomfort going to like a museum than I would to a club because it's so crowded. Everyone's drunk. Nobody gives a fuck. You know what I mean? Like no one's there to be like, oh, someone's there standing alone. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like I feel like it would be easy personally for me to go to a club alone. Like, I ju- to me, I just feel like clubs are, n- for me, I don't want to go to a club alone. Like I want to go to a club with my homegirls. Yeah. That's one of those places that I just... Like the movies, I like going to do movies alone because sometimes people talk oh, or like yeah, they're the not movies. really into it. Like yeah. I, that, those things or even eating, like I don't mind going alone because sometimes I do want to just sh- like, like I just want to shut the fuck up and watch TV and wa- eat some bomb ass food. And this food is not going to taste good at my house. Like it tastes good here at this restaurant. Mm-hmm. So it's, for that, it's OK. But I think in a club, I'm like, I want to go and be with my friends and laugh and have a good time and drink. That's true. So I don't want to go alone. What do you think would happen if you went alone? I'd probably be uncomfortable. I would just be there like. Oh, ugly boys, ugly boys, ugly girls. Ugly girls. <laughs> 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 now I'm just fucking around. But I would probably be like, where do I go? Like, where do I stand? I like I you wouldn't, buy, you wouldn't like be at the bar, like get a drink. I, I definitely feel like this is how it would go for you. Like, I feel like you'd be like, hey, let me go to the bar. Let me get a shot or two. And then you'd be standing there. And then someone would be like, oh, my God, like, you're so hot. And then you'd be like, oh, thank you. And then they'd be like, you come here often. And then you'd be like, oh no, I'm actually here alone. And they'd be like, oh, come hang out with me and my friends. And you'd be like, oh, And then they're okay. texting their homies, there's finally some bitch alone. Uh, <laughs> Let's no. get her. <laughs> no, I feel like it'd be like a piece of cake yeah. for you, to be honest. I went to, I kind of, not a- That a was lo- really nice, thank you. <laughs> I went to the bar uh, this past Saturday, I think, but I went with a friend 
and um we used it's a friend that we never really go out together mm -hmm. but like all of our homies like lagged and we're like fuck let's just, let's just go to a bar and we're like all right cool yeah we didn't think too much of it went to a bar and then we got recognized by like like these like these two or two two other guys and then we just had like a sick ass night with them like we're just turning up with them we went bar hopping oh, dope. and we met more people and honestly it was very fun that's cool i love like unplanned nights yeah they're so fun if i was a guy dude i would do everything alone really i would probably not yeah i would definitely go to the bars alone if i was a guy i wish i could rob a bank a rob a <laughs> what bank the fuck? <laughs> why yeah, which bank know. U.S. Maybe bank, like Wells Fargo. <laughs> yeah, fuck Wells Fargo, honestly. And I was Chase. just talking shit about Wells Fargo yeah, today. No, Wells Fargo, yeah. they're they're the ones that like we lost our house because of Wells Fargo. What? Yeah. I hate that they're the only ones that let you put a picture on your right your debit card. Watch oh. us get sponsored by Wells Fargo. Call us. In that case, <laughs> in that case, we love you. We yeah, love we actually Wells Fargo. love Wells Fargo. Yeah, right. Thank you for approving my loan. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't your fault that the house was lost it was our negligence <laughs> <laughs> um no literally like i don't know i fantasize about robbing banks you feel like you could do it like you could pull it off i feel like i could be in the getaway car i don't know mm. i think i'd be too pussy you'd be but, the baby driver but uh yeah mm. yeah and i but i would like i think it'd be fun to be in there like the adrenaline yeah <laughs> Like pretend like like everybody on the fucking ground. Like fake guns. Put the money in the bag. <laughs> the and then you just shoot a bunch of times up in the yeah. air to scare everybody. Literally, I'm literally, not playing. Literally. No, I wouldn't have the boss to shoot anyone though. Mm -mm. Really? No. Honestly, me neither. Whenever I hold a gun, I'm like, I have too much power in me. Like yeah. somebody take it away. <laughs> I feel like I can shoot someone. We should go shooting. I feel like I could shoot someone, but like I have to see that how they hurt like someone that I cared about. Oh, like, I, I thought you see you like I want to see them suffer. No, 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 no. Like, like I feel like that's the only way I'd have the balls to like mm, shoot. You know, like if yeah. I maybe if like they just beat up my mom or something, I'd be mm, like, okay, I'm gonna shoot you. I think I'll, I'll be on that like mindset of like kill or be killed because yeah. imagine the regret like of yeah. literally having a gun, but you don't kill this person, and then they kill like someone you love. Yeah, and you're like, damn, I could have stopped that person. What's What's the scenario? Why am I shooting this person? So they They broke into your house. I'll probably just shoot him in the kneecaps. What if they have your knees hostage? Oh, I'd shoot him dead in the fucking head. Yeah. See? Bah. Yeah, yeah, I think I can do it. But I would also hate... Oh, no. I would just do it. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. I was yeah. going to say, I would hate to traumatize my knees, but I'm like, nah, fuck it. Sorry. She's going to think you're a bad bitch. Like, her Damn. brain will make her forget, babe. You're good. I'm going to be like... He's going to be holding her and I'm going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> like a western... <laughs> like a duel? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I always, I've, okay, I don't know why I fantasize about this, but like someone shooting me and me like barely missing it, but it like scraping my face. Whoa. And then having a sick ass scar on my face. And then whenever and someone it makes says it that, extra hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna be like, what happened to you? And I'm like, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. I fantasize of like saving girls at like, like during like school shootings. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? That is some mess. Like you up. stopping the killer? Yeah, yeah. You guys that's, never that, thought about that? That's some that? heroic shit, bro. I think like, I remember when I was in class and I was bored, I was like, what if a school shooter just comes in? Like, I want to be like the class hero. Like somehow I take the flagpole, stab the dude, take the gun. Wow. Yeah. Do you, do you feel like you definitely could? Yeah. Interesting. I feel like I'm I'm on like the fight or flight. I'm on fight. Oh, mm. no, I'm, I'm, I'm out of there. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving. Hope you guys make it. There's no way. I think I'm just because I'm like cheese muscle, so I kind of want to see what's going on first. Before, I'm gonna be recording before you. I make like any <laughs> sudden movements. So. Damn, I don't even know what I would do. I think of it every time I go in the theater. Yeah, yeah, me too. Every time. Yeah. Batman fucking traumatized. Dude, me. it traumatized the fuck out of me. And I remember my dad was like, "Don't go to the Twilight premiere." Cause it was like right after I think it was Breaking Dawn, and yeah. I was like, dude, what's a guy gonna do? Like come out with like fangs and like yeah. attack yeah. me or something? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, my dad doesn't like when I go to Disneyland. He's scared of Disneyland. What? Because of that, he always thinks that Disneyland is such like a a terrorist target place. Oh, okay. But you can't even like fly planes over you Disneyland can, no, you or can. anything. I feel like it's pretty safe. Yeah. Who told us that that their parents that they never gone? Oh, I was talking to, to Steve on the phone the other day, mm -hmm. and he was telling me how he hadn't gone to Disneyland since he was, like, a kid, mm -hmm. like, a child, and that, wait, was it Steve? I don't remember, but somebody told me, I don't remember right now who told me, that they went when they were, like, a kid, but they had been gone as an adult, so mm -hmm. they don't really remember, you know, like, that they've gone, so take, to them, it feels like they've never gone, Yeah, but that they were talking to their dad about it one day, and that, they, that dad actually, the 
parents actually saved like the ticket from when he went oh, oh wow. somebody told us that and that they were like look you did go why do you want to go again oh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> who told us that yeah wasn't was- it hans Oh, I think yeah. it was Hans. Yeah, it was Hans. It was Hans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was Hans. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, I, like, bro, I thought that shit was so funny, bro. Like, funny. That, oh, fuck. I forgot about that. I think he said it in the pod. Yeah, in the last he did. One. Yeah, that shit was mad. I was cracking the fuck up. Like, but you just came back from Disneyland with Ezra. How was that? Was that his first time or no? No, that's like his fourth or fifth Damn, time. Damn, he's living good. Yeah, we take him a bunch of times. He loves it. Was there anything different from this trip than the previous ones? Did you go on the ride I told you? Yeah. Isn't we it loved the best? It, it was so it's good. It's so fun. I love that. It ride. reminded me of like the Star Wars one. Did mm. you get on the Star Wars one? The the one where it's like you get on a little carrito like that too. Oh, I haven't been on that one. Yeah, Star Wars has two rides and They're one of them sick. is like a little like ship I believe, and you press the button. Yeah, that's the only one I've but been on. But then there's another one there and it's like exactly like that and, and it actually has like a drop too. And no it's cool. way! Mm. Oh, no, I, no, I'm sad. Well, that but that's going to be cool because the next time I go, it'll be like a new thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, did you get on both of those? Yeah, I did. <gasps> yeah, Ezra got on it too. Isn't that one like that, that Star Wars one, the little car one, weird because there's no tracks? No. That's how the Mickey one is. Yeah. Whoa. The new crazy. one. So it's like what, town. magnetic or what? I don't know. I don't know. No, it's probably like little carritos. Someone's controlling them probably. Imagine. They're Imagine. Like a, <laughs> it's a teenager just like. <laughs> bring, 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 bring. Oh my God. But I like how they're stepping up like technology, you know, like it feels smoother. You don't feel like the little like hitting yeah, the, yeah. Them, like the, the rails and shit. Like the Matterhorn. Yeah. Oh. Swinging. <laughs> I like the part, the Toontown one. I like the part where Daisy's teaching like ballet. Like, how to and, dance. And then she's like, that's disco. And then it's like, yeah, it's, it's cool. I really like the ride. You had a good time? Yeah, it was really nice. I'm glad. I had FOMO. Oh. Dude, and then she was you were posting the bombest like snacks. I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> Dude, What was I, that one I replied to? What is that? It's um it's like the coffee, the drink. Yeah, it looked like a cocoa puff. Dude, so it's coffee and it's like a sweet cheese cream. It doesn't even taste like cheese though. I was a little like, ooh, like, like cream cheese? cheese. Like what the fuck? Yeah, I thought it was gonna taste like something like that, but it mm-hmm. doesn't even taste like cheese. It honestly tastes like vanilla sweet cream foam. And um the cocoa puff, so it mixes in with the coffee, but it doesn't it does have like a hint of like some kind of cheesiness, but mm. it's super subtle and it just mixes really well with the coffee. And it's so fucking good because you drink the coffee and then like you you eat the the puffs and it's just like a good taste. I don't know. It's so fucking good. I give it like a 10. 10. Right now that you said that, Romani, isn't it Colombians who put like mozzarella cheese in their hot chocolate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck did you see no. that video I did? But which one? We, re- we uh, remade it. Like my friend, she's Colombian and she did that, and then so we tried it ourselves. Did I don't remember that. How did it is taste? It to be honest, we we didn't have mozzarella. We used a different type of cheese. <laughs> it's all cotija. Oaxaqueño. Yeah, so we didn't use the right cheese, but uh, it was. Did you ask her why they do that? That's just, just how they do it. I know, but why? Like, who started that? <laughs> they're probably a colombian please let me know because just... that's mad weird i'm sorry they probably read the recipe wrong and then they're just like <laughs> stuck they were like oh this is good is there is there like any recipes that we have that are just super weird like mm. for one is menudo i know menudo is fucking weird it's like all the body parts of a what is it a pig of, that people don't want or is it the cow menudo is no it's the intestines, intestines of the cow where the caca is you it's know what disgusting. i was thinking i ate menudo today you know what i was thinking about when i was eating it like, um, I have this tia in the family who makes menudo different. It tastes different compared to the way the rest of my family makes mm-hmm. it. Hers tastes more, the only way I could describe it is like clean. Yeah. It tastes more like the flavor is not all there. I feel like. I actually you like don't. it with a little kakita? I was about to say that. <laughs> I was literally about to say that. I started thinking today like, that. maybe the shit gives it the flavor because hers dude. tastes like, hers tastes like I wouldn't want to eat it. Like, Yo, le it falta tastes sal. Like, le falta yeah. sal, le falta sazón, le falta algo. Like, uh, bitch, probably the shit. That's dude, that means, is like, disgusting. And I was like, damn, maybe a little kakita won't hurt. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I never told you guys the story about why they started like kind of going on people in Bloomington, the people that were like setting up. Yeah. Because, dude, somebody, like, you know how the health department was all about, like, just COVID during, yeah. like, the whole lockdown and everything? So when they finally started to, like, look into people selling food on the street, they shut everybody down because they found someone who was, like, marinating their meat, like the taco meat, in their bathtub. Oh, yeah, yeah, And so, like, they had to close everybody down, but I'm like, bro, people are disgusting 
disgusting. Like, people do the nastiest shit. I don't care how many times you clean that bathtub. Like, yeah. imagine eating tacos and then being like, okay, I'm going to uh, take a shower. Just... <laughs> like, let me, like, take the how, <laughs> how do they, how did they find that they were doing that in the bathroom? I have, I mean, the health inspection people, like, they'll go into, like, like, your house and everything. But, like, plan, no? Be like, hey, we're coming up at this time. No, they just show up. Uh, unless they were really, like, thought it was okay. Like what? It's a big oh yeah. It's a guest. <laughs> it's the guest bathroom. No, it's the biggest no, oh yeah we have. I bañan a los perros. Right? Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> like that's freaking nasty. You have a little pelito in your taco. Oh god. Ew. No. Uh, saw, that's how I felt right now when you yeah, said about the caquita. Shut them all down. <laughs> I saw Shadi Bay. She was on a live and she was cooking meat and chicken together. Because you know how you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> like she, I forgot she was cooking up, but she was cooking meat and chicken in the same pot. Oh wow! Or like in the same stove. Why aren't you supposed to do that? Because of the, the contamination. chicken contamination. Yeah. Because I don't think the cooking times are the same. Oh, or the cooking heat. You're yeah. right. And then also to like, uh, yeah. I think I just, it's contamination because of the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's just really that overall. This it, it, it takes different times to cook each. Mm-hmm, you're right. It's like if you put the chicken, chicken takes longer, and then. You could overburn the garden because I feel like at the end of the day, like they'll cook. You know what I mean? You just but have to leave it. It's yeah, just yeah, not yeah. gonna cook taste, at the same time. Yeah, it's not gonna take the consistency. Ugh, is gonna be I good. should know all this. You're right. That's why I asked you. I was like, maybe she has some insight, but you have. Yeah, no it's true. Now. I I kind of did know that, but I just <laughs> forgot. I'm sorry. I'm barely coming back, guys. It's okay, guys. That just... doesn't have a necessity to cook all the time. Like, yeah. I have. I'm a mother. I have to re take my classes. My because like to get like your management license or whatever you have to take uh, classes on cooking and not cooking but like the temperature temperatures that, mm-hmm. i did that recently too because yeah. of my job i love it because every time i'm there i'm like this seems like logic like no shit and then i'm like wow that's that's like a really good tip to have yeah. <laughs> guys i went to see beyonce this weekend yeah that was sick yeah, i know dude, like, i was right, right in front it was so sick Shout did she John. see you did she wave at you no because okay so a lot of people said that she was like like the concert was mostly left based it was not that bitch was face facing forward the entire time like kind of but not really and then honestly the crowd sucked at Aww. least the crowd i was around patrick star was there patrick star um Aww. but i just feel like like even in my videos i was like oh, i'm embarrassed to post these because the, like everybody around me was so whack nobody was dancing like what? nobody was really yelling when she came out everybody except this was one standing yeah and i'm like girl like are we seeing the same person right now like this is wild it looked like there was a lot of space too on the floor a like, lot dude. like not a lot of people afford, could afford to floor to see. it was crazy but she's really 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 talented like no i should i've seen her like prepare for her performances and shit like yeah she gets down yeah she gets so fucking down but okay i'm not gonna lie I had seen a video where they were like, oh, Beyonce starts her concerts by like pretty much asking you to like give away your soul. No way. And so when the concert started, I started praying. I was like, God, I'm not really here for that. Like, I'm not giving <laughs> my soul away. I'm just here for the music. Like, what Beyonce, you cannot have my soul. And like throughout the concert, I don't know if it was because I was like really high, but I was also like, I recorded a video and I was like, this feels demonic. Like, I don't want this on my phone. So I would like stop recording. What the fuck? I swear. What would she do? I don't know. I just think she thinks... And obviously, because of her talent, like, she feels like she's a god. And I think everyone believes she's a god. Because even, like, her flying off, like, in the ending, like, that just reminded me to me, like, oh, you think you're a god. Like, you think you're Mm, a god. It's like she's above the human. She's above everyone. Did she say, like, any weird shit? No, no, she was super nice. No. (laughs) No. No, not at all. I mean, she has songs that are obviously, like, a little bit more like she has a song called church girl and it started like her visuals were insanely good like don't get me wrong it was so amazing but it did give me like a weird vibe a little Ooh, bit okay, okay a little bit only because i know you know she's like illuminati and whatever really? so I, th- I think that was like really like in, in that part you were like coming here it's like jesus yeah i was like god god are you there um i'm still here really I, haven't, right I haven't given it away I'm like scared yeah exactly like jesus can you pick me up i'm scared <laughs> yeah. that's why i never go to doja cat concert why are they like that oh, have you see. not seen like what, no. how she's been acting i actually uh, haven't and i actually would love to see doja live really you guys don't like I you can like just look at her song. instagram page right now let me go look at no, it no i don't follow her on anything i just like a couple of her songs that i would love to hear live yeah, she's scary i'm gonna click on it and like the demon's gonna yeah it's gonna come out the phone through. she literally 
posting like witchcraft and stuff and weird who's ts demonic. ts taylor swift oh why'd you put versus because everyone um i think it was andrew schultz schultz he's getting like a lot of like back and forth because he said that taylor swift is like on another level and compared to beyonce yeah oh no he said that taylor swift is the new michael jackson yeah that the only one who compares to taylor swift is michael jackson and people are getting like pissed i think it. so this is why i think talent vocally taylor beyonce swift? takes it away oh. yeah i don't think obviously i think taylor's an incredible amazing singer, singer. but yeah but, but i think what, is... i think what separates is the fans to be honest because if you go to beyonce concert you don't have to be a diehard fan like you will go to beyonce concert to appreciate to the... appreciate her i think if you're gonna go to a taylor swift concert you're a you're a swifty and also i think Taylor Swift, uh, lyrically, she is a better writer. Oh, uh -huh. and she's she's the she writes All every song, single one and of her Beyonce songs. And Beyonce doesn't exactly. And also, I think for you to fill up like like you said, like how Beyonce was, was kind of empty. Like Taylor Swift, there's not a single seat yeah. that's not someone who doesn't know all these songs, every single song by memory. Like yeah. Yeah. for the most part, and I think that is a really like to get to that level is insane yeah. because. I don't know all of y'all. I didn't know like a lot of them. I think yeah, it's because yeah. she talks about in her music about a lot of things that people can truly feel and like they're emotionally moved as opposed yes. to Beyonce. Like, yeah, I'm she has some songs that you can dick. feel, but I think it's mostly like bops, you know, to dance and like, you know. And I more... think most of her songs are like, I'm a boss bitch. Yeah. I got a lot of money. And it's I'm like, the shit. And a lot of I'm people the best. can relate to that. <laughs> I know. It's only some of us. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just well, no, it's, it's harder to embody that energy. Right, exactly. To believe that, you know. And I think Taylor does connect more with her fans. Yeah. Like, she, she act, she's actively always connecting with her fans. And it shows. Yeah. Yeah. And I do feel like that compares to michael jackson more than beyonce does sure. yeah be like did you guys see the videos from taylor's concert in mexico no. they made her cry because they were like taylor hermana it is mexicana oh, really? oh, it was wow. so cute <laughs> like her mexico shows i'm so jealous that they i didn't crazy. go over there because one they were way cheaper but also dude the fans went oh, nuts wow. and i guess like she wasn't expecting it because like i said Dude, I, I'm not even joking. For the three hours straight, every person pretty much knows every fucking lyric to every fucking song. Wow. And I feel like that is just a crazy level of to get this many people to sell out Everywhere. that many stadiums. Yeah, yeah, and every single person there knows your music. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you say about Taylor Swift. I will defend her to like What's die. up with your fellow Swifties who like crashed like uh, a wedding or something like that? Did you see that? No. Like, I don't know if it was like one of her exes that the Swifties, they like... They're like chanting outside. No like way. The hall. You didn't see this? Yeah. I was gonna send this to you and talk Which shit. Which I don't know. I forgot who it was. I see. think that's chaotic to me. Personally. Yeah, of course. Like, to, I don't know. Especially because she had already told everyone to respect. Oh god. I'm so surprised. <laughs> I feel like you see bad things about Taylor Swift and you look the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Those are her. A hundred percent. Those are her fans, not Taylor Swift. Do you not do that with your favorite artist? That's weird. No, I don't, I don't. I can't think find I have it. a favorite artist like that. Really, I feel like my number one favorite artist is probably Juanes, and then after that is Taylor Swift. Really, has he dropped any new music? Oh no, he I don't think did. It was that. But his new album is a little bit more political towards like what's happening in Colombia and stuff like that. Just how there's a lot. Mm. Um, but it's I haven't listened to it like mm. that much. Oh no, I, my mistake. She didn't. They didn't crash it. So Swifties mm -hmm. caused an entire shit. street to be shut down in New Jersey after Taylor's presence at Jack Antetoff's star-studded wedding rehearsal dinner. Ooh. And they had to do, like, they kind of stopped it or some shit. I That's it was. tough. I'd be like, I'm sorry, Taylor, you can't come to my wedding. Like, if this is going right. to happen again, like. That's what I'm saying. Like, her fans are just crazy. That's insane. Like, cra the amount of hate Jake Gyllenhaal got. And then after him, she was like, hey, guys. Maybe let's not do this to John Mayer. Maybe. Even though he deserved it more than anyone. Yeah. What did he do to her again? Nothing. He was just fucking mean. How do you know? Why you gotta That's be That's what she so said. And I believe her. <laughs> Crazy. I, I'm gonna start riding my bike so Taylor's um, pollution to the earth. Like, I'm oh, gonna so let her take... like equalize? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't shower anymore because I want her to be able to use up all the water that she needs. Dude, my okay. friend was at um, South Carolina where they filmed... Um, Dear John and uh, I forgot the other movie. Dear John with John uh, Chan Channing Tatum. Yeah. Oh. And she posted pictures of even like the 
Even the lake too, where I think it was like the notebook or whatever. Where the oh my god! Yeah, and she posted pictures. She, you could actually get a boat and like row through it. Oh, and that is it. so. Can you stay at the house? That's is cute. there a house? Uh, there's an Airbnb right on the lake, and I think she stayed there. Oh, oh wow. my god, dude! Yeah, and it looks so gorgeous. I got FOMO. I was like, oh man, I want to go there. You know what I found out? Um, that you, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of like famous people have Lyme disease. Lyme disease. Why? Yeah, because and you get that from ticks. Like from a tick biting you. Okay. Um, and I guess I just found out that there's like a city. I don't know if it's called Lyme or something like that. I don't remember where it is, but right across the w- water from that is the Hamptons. <gasps> and so like they, the ticks live in the tall grass. So I guess that's where like all the fame. Because I was always like, why the fuck so many pe- famous people have like Lyme, Lyme disease? disease? Like where are they getting bitten? T- like I've never been bitten by a tick and I live in Bloomington. Like, Bitch, I would never fucking go to the ham. Thank God I couldn't go. I can't even go. Thank God I can't. <laughs> when are we ever going to go to the I'm never going to fucking go. Even if I get invited, I wouldn't go. I forgot the Hamptons existed. I remember hearing that a lot. What is the Hamptons? Just like a hotel? No, it's just a city where rich people have a bunch of fucking sick ass houses and they just is summer. Is that in Florida? That's where they oh summer. God. I thought no, the I Hamptons think it's like was up. a hotel. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think that there's a hotel. When you said hotel, it reminded me. Oh, I, I was the thinking Hilton? the Hilton. Yeah, the Hilton. <laughs> no, I literally thought the Hamptons was another chain. No, it's a place. Like the no, no, no. It's I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> it's a place. And that's where all the rich, like, like elite people go. I saw it on Gossip Girl. Uh, that's how i incredible know. yeah 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 yeah. incredible so you get what should a guy expect when he buys you a drink yeah so like what what do you expect from a girl when you buy her a drink i saw this girl going around um interviewing people asking that um nothing whenever i because i never buy a girl drink <laughs> I so if anything, girls don't expect. Your yeah, drink don't talk. expect. <laughs> you buy you I mean, well, it dep- like if it's a girl I meet at a bar, I'm not buying her a drink. If a, it's a girl I take to a bar, I'll buy her a drink. But um, like, if you're going to a bar, like on the prowl, on the prowl, you know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna buy a bitch a drink. That's messed up. Like. Like you're going to like find bitches. Yeah. I mean bitches in the respectful way, guys. By the way, I'm not like. Yeah, I'm a. Yeah, it's like one of those things where like a term it's like a termination. It's like whenever I've, I've noticed whenever I'm in the mix, people like to get a little bit more toxic with their words. Is it me? Is was I the reason why you wanted to use the vocabulary? Well, I mean, yeah, probably. Mm. What was I gonna say? Um, Crazy. <laughs> if I was a man, I feel like I would buy a girl a drink just because she is beautiful. I'd be like, wow, that's a really beautiful girl. Like, she deserves, she deserves but every it. Every girl's yeah. beautiful, so that means my bank account will be hurting. Every girl's not beautiful because you don't approach every girl. I'm too shy. Ugh. And then I don't want to make the other beautiful girls jealous. And also, too, like, even, right. if, even if you feel but like all girls are beautiful, you're not going to be attracted to all Every of them. single one. Because I feel like there's men that I look at, I could be like, okay, this is... He's not ugly. Like, he's a good-looking guy, but he's just not my type. Like, I'm not attracted mm-hmm. to you. But I can admit that you're not an ugly dude. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel it. So it's like, you can't be attracted to everyone. Yeah, but for most part, like... Um, so you never buy girls drinks? That I meet at the bar, no. Because I know, I know the game. Like, I know what y'all want. Y'all want free drinks, and then y'all gonna leave. Not if it's a cute boy. Mm-hmm. No, because then your homegirl's gonna take you away. Every single time. The trauma. The Did trauma. that happen to you? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> But yeah, I don't, no, I don't, I'll, I'll take. Hell no, Vanessa would be like, this guy's buying me a drink, tell him to buy you two. Yeah, literally. I'll, I'm trying to remember the I'll times like, where I did buy no, a girl literally. drink. It's always no. <laughs> Usually I guess. I gotta pick which one's the cutest. <laughs> you know what it'd be? It would just be like to dance. Because I like to dance. So I was like, here, have this, it's loosen up instead of being. <gasps> yeah, see, like, that's nice. Yeah. But, so you won't be stiff, not loosen up. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 When you said, when you said <laughs> I, was like, I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's mostly to dance, but I, I don't be doing, I don't be doing buying what, drinks. What, what um, type of music do you feel like is your element in the dance floor? Reggaeton. I get that compliment a lot that I'm a good dancer. Okay. So I like, I, I like What's to your stand. favorite move? What's your go-to move on the dance floor to reggaeton? I don't know. I just, I just, I'm just feeling. Stand I, up, I, please. I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just tune into the Patreon to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just kind of follow like the momentum, and it like connects perfectly. Mm. You know, dude. I hate. I just hate twerking. Like, can we just not? Like, I don't want to grind on anybody. I want it to be normalized. That I, need I like spinning, space girls. so I can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like spinning. Like spinning. Oh 
Ooh, like banda or what? No, no, like I just like I don't know, I like spinning them. Like it's fun. Waltzing. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to square dance, dude. <laughs> That's the new thing right now, square dancing. Everybody's going to country bars. Yeah. Bro, I want to go to a country you bar. See? We should go. I've actually I been meaning to, to ask you guys. Where, where is it? The at? only one is friggin' the one in, in B. San Bernardino. Yeah, yeah, in San Bernardino. Mm-hmm. And I have gone and I have seen people square dance. Dude, that bar is low-key fun. It's just empty as fuck every time I've gone. I have go I go on college nights and then they stop mm-hmm. the English music for like an hour to play like country music, mm-hmm. square dance. And all the white people rush to this dance. I floor. love it. I love that all of them collect. How do you all collectively know these dances? Like, it's the same uh, thing with Mexicans when like they put in the, uh, Bro, but the it's o- caballo. Uh, it's uh, only the caballo dorado. These bitches know like a hundred songs to square dance to. But it's like the same move. No, dude. It's not? It's not. Because oh, I went wow. to Stagecoach and I, you know how like, like it's like Coachella, you know how they have like little rooms where like they yeah. play DJs and whatever. And it was just like country song after country song and these bitches were changing it up. I couldn't <gasps> not keep, I, I honestly can't Ooh, keep up. I didn't know that. Where do yeah. they practice? Look at them do united. They, do they the practice what? like at birthday parties? That's what I'm saying. Like, is there like a roster I've where like when a new song comes to out? i person's party and seen them square dance. Yeah, I don't think they square dance. I think it's just like country clubs. Dude, one time I went to a, like a white people Christmas party and it was so boring. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to say. All the white parties I've been to were terribly boring. Yeah, they're so boring. What, how, like, how'd you get to a white person's Christmas party? Um, Alex worked at a winery and all the people that worked there were white. And mm. it was like like the company Christmas party. But they weren't like super old. I mean, they weren't like super young, but like it just felt... It was like how you see on TV. Like everyone's... Sitting. chatting and here's some pastries but no second shots no oh, no buzz balls nothing yeah that's how mine was too. <laughs> never again but the club the country clubs they're fun country club oh country like the i would love to clubs. go to one then we should yeah. go we'll plan it but Saul always says and never invites me and vanessa yeah well you, you guys are just good. on different schedules whatever you're like oh, always busy you're always busy i'm always gone yeah you're always traveling Literally. I know you guys should sponsor me. Travel agencies, Airbnb, Airbnb or whatever. Um, Delta Airlines, not Delta. Actually, just saw a video about them. Are you talking about the one where they the guy got the, they were on the plane for seven hours? Yes. Yeah. You know what just happened recently, mm-hmm. like two days ago or maybe yesterday? Um, this girl she was traveling with her pet, where her dog, and they, you know how you put the dogs under. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I saw that. And uh, they lost the dog. The airline lost a dog. Oh, my God. Yeah. I would be so pissed. How the fuck do you lose a dog? Dude, that happened to Pepe Aguilar. They lost his dog? They lost his dog. Southwest. No, Volaris lost his dog in LAX. And when they found him, he was dead. No way. And I- then Volaris put a picture of him on like their front, like their website page. And I was like, yo, fuck you guys. Yeah. I've heard stories of that. Like dogs just, they forget the dogs there and the dog just freezes. <gasps> Oh my god, that is so sad. Yeah. So I get the dog way? And like, like in under? the cabins, and then so it just freezes. Have you guys ever seen Soul Plane? Nah. Oh, that movie's hilarious. You'd love it, I think. It's Why? dumb. Is it about dogs? It's about um Kevin Hart's in it and Snoop Dogg. A bunch of fucking people, isn't it? But it's about Kevin Hart. He's like on a plane and he puts his dog like on bottom too. Like and he's in the restroom. And then there's a bunch of turbulence and his ass gets stuck to the toilet. And he just sees like his dog fly out like through the window. So he sues the airline and he makes a lot of money and he opens like his own airline. But it's like all like it's just straight black people in the airline and there's like one white family on the plane. It's like one of those like dumb movies, but yeah, it's yeah. fucking funny. What? That would be me. <laughs> I would sue the fuck out of an airline if they lost my dog. Oh, me too. There's no way. I wouldn't even know Same. how I would react. Imagine showing up and you're just like waiting to pick up your dog and they're like, sir, come with me. And then he's like, dead. That's fucked up. How do you even react? Mm-hmm. I would start screaming. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll be... I'll, I'll start swinging, actually, yeah. Be very mm-hmm. disrespectful. Act for a lot of, I'll ask for a lot of money up front. Dude. No, no, no. I'd get a lawyer involved. There's no way. That's Imagine. What, yeah. Got I, me? That's why I don't have dogs. Not you got yet. cats, though. I wouldn't take them nowhere, though. <laughs> <laughs> they don't deserve they're it. They're staying home safe. <laughs> yeah. um, they're never leaving my room. <laughs> they, have, they have Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god! No, I don't think I would ever take my per- my pets anywhere. Do you think you'd ever get a dog? No, and I would never. You're not travel. a dog person. No, and I would never travel with my pets. Mm. Like, bitch, I'm on vacation. What the fuck? I want to see you for like? You're That's staying true. Home. 
I see you every day. <laughs> do you ever see like like you ever see like dogs and think they're like cute and stuff? Yeah, yeah, of course. But like, I just feel like for my lifestyle and my personality, I match more with cats. Mm. I feel it. I want one. I want to see if I can connect with a cat. Oh, you will trust me. I used to I used to be on the cat like hater bandwagon before I had one because I just when you don't have one, it's a per, like society creates a perception of a cat for you. Mm -hmm. You know, you only know what you read online, what people tell you, and it's not always good. And then you have your own, and you're like, wow, I see it, I get it. I don't so cats you have to have it. You have to have it. Like to know. You have to. They make me cringe. Why? Like when they like rub against my leg and their back goes up. I'm like, good. I kind of love it. I don't hate cats. I just, like you said, like my personality, I think fits better with dogs. But I just found yeah. out that the reason we have dogs is because my dad never had a dog when he was little. So Same he never time. wanted us to not have a dog. But like when we were little, we killed so many. So I feel like now I think back. And what do you I mean you bad. killed so many? Yeah, like we would get dogs and, you know, you're not supposed to like take them out until they have all their shots. We'd be like, oh, fuck God. that. Let's go to the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Bitch would get parvo and die. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Well, I. I kind of want a dog, but I feel like I can get a dog now. Cause before I wasn't, I was never in my house, but now I'm in my mm. house every day. So if mm. I get a dog, I like. You should get a dog. I know, so we can play with him when we're. Yeah, recording. just have a little yeah. puppy running around. Yeah. What kind of dog would you want? Do you want another German? Uh, I like fluffy big dogs. Mm. I like Rut recently. Rut Rylers have been looking really cute. They're super cute. They have like a funny face, like. They're kind of, they're like, it's like a dumb face. Dude, they have like the sweet, I feel like those are dogs that have like that epitome of like a little puppy dog face. Yeah, like, yeah. All like their whole lifespan. They're, they're just so like, cute. They're like dopey. I don't know. Like, doo -doo. You don't like Rottweilers? No, I just don't. I'm like, yeah. You're all sure dogs anyways, my yeah, cat? Yeah. Was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, another Blue Moon Tea Day. What does that oh, mean? Yeah. It's right there. You can see it from this window. It's like supposed to be like sixteen percent like shinier mm. than a regular like full moon. Put your crystals out tonight, guys. Put recently, it in the grass. Recently, yeah. there's been a lot of like moon records. Like I've been seeing for the past years. It's like oh, for the first time in so many years, this moon's doing this. That's how I feel about comets. First time seen in two hundred years. It's I'm like, like I've bro, seen this post again? like ten times already. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> I actually made it onto flat Earth TikTok. I don't know why, mm. and it was just like trying to like defraud not nasa it's like nasa's not real like look at all this stuff and i was low-key you're starting getting to get convinced, convinced. yeah I, I think i've i think i've gone down that rabbit hole once on tiktok and it is low-key convincing it's embarrassing though i would it never openly admit that i'm a flat earther i'm not but like even if i was i would lie i would be like this is too embarrassing to admit yeah why i think it's fun it's to a the plot it's a fun it's a it's an interesting theory like it'd be very because if that theory is correct, then it just shifts our whole understanding, understanding of, space of life and, and space. gravity yeah. and everything, everything, everything. But then it comes down to like gravity. But then people even say gravity is not even real. It's a theory of it gravity. It just wouldn't make sense to me because then like satellites and shit would have to be fake. Yeah. And how the fuck are we all connecting right now? They say uh, we're like on the... See, I sound Simulation. like a flat right there. But it's like we're a, living in a simulation. We're in a dome. That's what. Oh, it is. like um, like the Truman Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're living in a Truman Show. But if we were, then at some point we'd reach the end, like the walls. That's what. That's what. Like uh, in the Hunger Games. Have you guys seen the movie Don't Worry, Darling? No. Oh like, yeah, with yeah, Florence Pugh. Did you see it? Is I didn't see it. I like skipped through. I'm not gonna lie. I just went to see the sex scenes. <laughs> Damn it! I heard they were good. They were alright. Did you? watch the end and how no i didn't watch the end can i ruin it yeah, yeah yeah it turned out that they were actually in a simulation like their little yeah, her town. husband put her in there right yeah so basically harry styles like, plays her <laughs> husband he i guess in real life she was a nurse who was like overworked and um didn't have time for him anymore and he was a complete fucking bum loser Ugh. always at home broke didn't have no job and she, since she was really overworked as a nurse and like paying all the bills and like living in a shitty apartment in a shitty part of town that like no one wanted to live in. So she was like very humanitarian, like I can't leave here, like people need my help. Mm -hmm. And he was just like not getting a job, just living off of her. And like so she didn't want to be touched by him anymore. Like she was like, bro, like you like she, he was like a turn off to her. Mm -hmm. So when she'd get home, she'd just want to sleep and like go back to work. You know, she didn't 
like the spark was gone. Mm-hmm. So then there's like a new program being introduced, but it was like a super low key program where you basically they put you basically to sleep forever. And it's like they put you like something on your eye that like while you're sleeping, it projects like a whole world into your brain. So, so you're dreaming essentially the whole forever. Time. Yeah. So he actually knocked her ass out against her will and put her under oh, wow. into that like fake world. Mm-hmm. That's why she started snapping out of it because she never actually wanted to be there. Like mm-hmm. he just he forced her into it. Like, um, and then that's why she was like coming like in and out of the the fake world, mm-hmm. and that's why she she broke out of it. And how does um, it end? Huh? How does it end? She breaks out of it. Um, and he, I think he, they don't really show, but I think. I think she breaks out of it and she kills him or something like that. I don't know. That's something. Right. I think. I could be wrong. I might be wrong. I might be very wrong. But I think there's this one part that made me sad because she was like saying like, this is wrong. Like, you know, people shouldn't be here because everyone that's living in that world is a real person asleep choosing to be there. Mm-hmm. She just happened to be forced to be in it, mm-hmm. you know? And um, that's she, why everyone was like, "Calm down, bitch." Yes, uh, yes, yes, because everyone knows what it is. I thought everybody was like put there against. Uh, no, 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 no. Everyone knew what it was, but some people, uh, well, like her, mm-hmm. wasn't. And I think there was this other one girl that also was put there against her will because she killed herself in the simulation. Um, but one part that I find that was like, oh, like I didn't think of it that way. She has a best friend in the world, you know, and. When the best friend starts realizing that she's, like, snapping out of it, like, she tells her, like, okay, fine, like, you're right, something is wrong, like, this isn't, like, real. Uh, but she told her, like, because in the simulation, she has two kids. And she was like, but I'm choosing to be here, like, in the real world, like, my children died, like, in a car accident. Oh, wow. And she was like, and Aww. I'm never going to see them, like, and they're gone forever. She was like, but here, I I live with them every single day, and, like, I don't want to live without them. So it's like, you know, I know it's probably not healthy. I don't know. Like, but to her, like, she just wanted to be with her children. And there's scenes in the movie, like, with her playing with her children. Sheesh. And it's like, that's that's hard. You yeah. know, like, I can see why people would, you know, want to do something like that. I hate that about movies, though, yeah. because, like, like, um, have you guys ever seen The Vampire Diaries? No. Yes, I love that one. Well, in The Vampire Diaries, like, when they go, like, they can turn off their humanity. humanity. So they don't feel any emotions. Yeah, so like, they can kill people and be crazy. Yeah, but caring. most of the time they do it when they're, like, in such a state of pain and i'm like yo i wish like shit like that was real a lot of times i thought that while watching the show i was like i wish i could turn off my humanity (laughs) (laughs) literally they just turn off their humanity and just start fucking people up like the whole show yeah (laughs) i like you should watch it i like the parts where like they're forced into turning off their humanity it's crazy like there's to save somebody else yeah like like there's times where like they just they have no choice but to do it and it's like the, the other person's like don't do it and they're like I bring to. me back and then yeah, yeah they're like i'll come back to you because <laughs> once they turn it off like even if you love someone it's like they won't give a fuck yeah about you me. have to like really 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 trigger it back yeah something insane has to trigger your humanity to be turned back on yeah but it's like borderline hard to do so how long would they be without the humanity dude sometimes months, months. and like one of them would go on a bender and like literally leave people dismembered and shit like yeah. oh wow because you don't give a fuck about anything nothing. you don't love anything you don't care you don't feel nothing how do you fall in love with someone like that like what if like you fall in love with a vampire he's the best person ever and then he turns off his humanity and now he's like a fucking dick but you know that is literally what this show is about oh, essentially cool. <laughs> watch it. you know and talking about that you saying that how could you fall in love with something like that i was listening to this podcast that was talking about how they did this study with monkeys where they created two habitats one was like really cold and there was nothing there it was like they put like even like thorns and like it was a very uncomfortable like place to live in like Mm -hmm. like not comfortable for a monkey you know it was very like pointy stuff everywhere Mm -hmm. cold like nothing homey about Mm -hmm. it but there was food in it you know to you know you need food to survive and then they created another habitat that was warm and and soft and they even put like a little fake like um, oh, because there was these were baby monkeys that they mm-hmm. took away from their mothers, 
and to the, add to the yeah, drama literally <laughs> literally and the other home had like a fake mom that was warm and like soft and they even put like a little beating heart inside of like the the simulation mom and they found that all the monkeys every single like scenario that they would put them in would always stay in the house that was warm with the heartbeat and soft even though there was no food they wouldn't put food in that one so it proved um because we're like the most similar to monkeys and Mm -hmm. they mimic like humans like almost to the t and they were able to prove that um like humans really need connection and love to survive um that is one of the reasons why people stay in uh really toxic relationships for so long because Mm -hmm. even though someone could be really shitty to you and ignore your needs you know disrespect you not love you not give you affection and all these things the physical aspect of someone physically being there like Mm -hmm. the body like to cuddle with sometimes like you know to feel warmth with sometimes Mm -hmm. um like feeling like you have someone there not alone far more outweighs like the need of like food and like like not your actual needs oh 100 that's why people like betray their needs a lot and stay with the next shitty situations because no one wants to be alone yeah and you know what's so crazy about that um whenever like i have my friends like because i'm that bitch that i'm like break up with your man yeah, <laughs> like a hundred percent i'm always gonna tell you to break up because i'm like what's i always ask them i'm like what's gonna change and they're like well n- nothing like i do already do everything for myself like nothing's really gonna change and i'm like then well then what literally what's what is you stopping there? you yeah. right now and it's that it's, it's the that. fact that they don't want to be, be alone physically without this person yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. yeah i've had that conversation with a friend where he's was treated horribly for so long and then i literally got him to say it's because he doesn't want to be alone yeah and that's it, it sucks like damn bro like you'd rather be treated like shit mm-hmm. than to be alone literally but i don't blame them being alone is so hard it's yeah. hard it's really, really and hard. it's really hard because it's you you learn you have to, to be that way yeah from a very young age yeah. like it starts from a young age like mm-hmm. it's a it's a deep conditioning of years and it's like you can't just one day decide i mean you can decide to be different but it takes a lot of hard work and it's not just gonna happen overnight you yeah. know and and it goes back to kind of what you were talking about like when you went to go eat alone it like you yeah. are there and you have no nothing else to do but either distract yourself yeah an insane amount or really sit there and be like who With am I? Like what? Yeah, like wh- how did I get here? Yes. Why? Am, how am I gonna get out of here? Yeah. Can I even get out of here? I don't really want to. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I a hundred percent understand people who choose not to be alone, but I do salute people who, who you know, choose that route. I, I've came to a conclusion that I have abandonment issues, and that's why I'm kind of cool with being alone mm. because then no one can abandon me. <laughs> that's, that's sad. Because cool. then it's hard for you to open up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's you're ta- you're explaining me right now. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's what I've been. Uh, We're gonna crack you open. We're gonna peel you back like an onion. And start crying. Yeah. Nah, I do that. My, like I just think about that stuff already. And that thing about like, is that why I ghost girls? Cause like I don't want to get ghosted first. Probably. Maybe. And I'm pretty sure. Like I'm gonna leave you before you leave me. Yeah. And also, I don't even do it on purpose. It just happens. I just I just do it. I'm like, oh, sick. I, I like I notice one thing, and I'm like, oh, red flag. I'm out yeah you know what i feel about you though that i'm like man that i hope that when you do fall in love Mm -hmm. she's not a bitch because you're gonna be so in love that you're not gonna care you're gonna love her like an intense insane amount no i'm i I tread carefully yeah because but one day you're gonna fall in love like that's just inevitable like you're gonna fall in love and you'll Oh, I'm, like go va- I'm like a vampire where I can turn off my human my humanity. Your humanity. That's, that's, what humanity. that's what you think. Like, I, sometimes it'll come out of nowhere. Especially if you say you've never been in love and you don't know what it's like. Yeah. Oh my god, it's horrible. Yeah, yeah, it's like you'll you'll put up with a lot of shit. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like I'm easy to to please. No, to cut off. Like I can oh. easy, I can easily cut off someone. But because you haven't been in you've love, you've never experienced it. I know. I think it's just because I'm just so I can distract myself super easily, and I can distract myself for a long time. Where not, by the time it's over, but, like, oh, but because you've been never in been love. in love, you don't. It's you I, can do that because these girls are not that. as they're not special yeah, to you. They're true. irrelevant. Yeah. That's but crazy. Is that actually, a weird feeling? What, well, I've never like it's thinking. About I it, do think it's weird. It's like it's weird. I've I'm never. Not gonna lie. Imagine like saying like, "Oh, I've never touched the couch." 
And it's like, what the fuck? What do you mean you never touched the couch? No, nah, like, and then you know what a couch, you know, you can feel that. The couches are everywhere. That you couch. can touch that couch and you feel something, but I touch it and I don't feel anything. Isn't that yeah. crazy? Yeah. So I feel yeah. like that's kind of like a, a weird analogy I put to love. Now you guys have felt love, but I don't know. Because it's different, like, of course, parent love and family love is different. No, right? it's so, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. that's why I'm telling you, because I know, especially first loves, Ooh. and you're experiencing it so much older, so you're going to be so aware of everything. Because when you're in love and you're young, like, you're just like, da-da-da-da-da. You yeah. think it'll be to the point where um, it's like, no, I love you so much. I'll end all these shows for you. No. No. You won't do that. You see, I think your drive. fine. Oh, well, yeah. But I, I'm just saying, like, how they're going to treat you personally. Uh -huh. Like, I hope that it's someone who's going to treat you nice. Because trust. even if they're not, like, you're going to love them so much, you're not going to care. I know my worth, queen. I'm going to be a bitch. But then you're going to kick me off the show because... You're gonna be like, you're not. Uh, treating yeah, my stop treating right. my girl like that. I have bitch. to pick between her and you, and like, mm -hmm. I just don't want to listen. Or what if nah, she's I'll like, pick you guys both before her any time, like one hundred percent. That's what I was gonna say. What if she's like, let's cancel the besties, save, you guys? Save I, this clip. Yeah, save if it. If he ever doesn't, Ooh. I would need you guys to remind him. Yeah, unless, yeah. yeah, definitely one hundred percent. Imagine he's like, guys, I need to talk to you about the future of besties. <laughs> my so girlfriend's my, actually gonna take joining. over. <laughs> She feels very uncomfortable that I'm here with you guys. She just feels like she needs to be there. She doesn't feel comfortable you guys being in. She's my not home. crazy or anything though. It's just more of like respect for our yeah, relationship. Yeah, so she's just you know? gonna be there <laughs> supervising everything. She's that. actually oh, gonna be producing your show and coming up with your topics. Yeah. Damn, imagine. And I can no longer drama. be on the episode. And she's gonna get a cut too from what you guys made. Oh hell oh, no! Nah. Nah. Damn. Yeah, I never, ever, I never let. I've I've had times when girls have gotten in the way of work and I just cut all of them off. Damn, dude, you probably hurt bitches' egos so bad. Hundred percent. I hurt one like last night. Ah, <laughs> perro, that's so. I, told, I, I literally told her like, "Yo, I'm too busy," because she was expecting a lot from me. I was like, "Yo, stop." Oh my god, I would die. Sorry. I'd be like, este pinche feo. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just got my mindset on other stuff right this now. That's why I'm not dating no more. Damn. Yeah, do you, can you say like you've only been in love once? Or how many times do you think you've fallen in love? Yeah. I think I've only been in love with Hugo, to yeah. be honest. Because my first, I don't think I was ever really in love. Mm -hmm. I think it was like friendship that I forced, mm -hmm. that I tried to make into something else. And... Yeah, and I did have something with two other people mm -hmm. that I did see. Llegué a tener un cariño grande. Like, I did feel like I cared for them. Mm -hmm. I did like them a lot, but I don't think I ever loved them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I genuinely do think I only ever loved Hugo. That's good. I think That's having sweet. one love is nice. Yeah. Because I can't say, I feel like I was in love, but it was like little kid love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like not real love. I feel like same thing. Like only. Can like, you have like, can you fall in love like three, four times in a lifetime? Oh, yeah, I, I think, think so. so. Yeah. For sure. I think so. It's not like I think it, women can. Like <laughs> if, let's say you're on a date and you ask a girl or you ask your partner and be like, how many times have you been in love? And they answer seven. Oh, no. I, yeah, I don't know about that. I hear my stomach. I, yeah, I'm it's all starving. Gonna, it's gonna ignore you. I was like, <laughs> I really hope you can't hear it. Yeah. Oh my god. I feel like how old is he? Uh, yeah, it's a good. Yeah, I, I, yeah let's say I like 34. Say seven is a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot. If you're 34 and you fall in love seven times, no, you haven't. And I also think it feels different because I feel like um, I don't know. I feel. Like, it's not always going to feel the same yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. with everyone. Mm. Like, I mean, like, you might get butterflies. I mean, like, you know, the nervousness of, like, someone new. But yeah. I always think that ev since everyone's so different, like, the way love is going to feel with different, like, with people is going to be different. Mm -hmm. It's not going to all feel, like, the same, you know? Yeah, but I think, like, love and to a sense where I'm, like, I can really be with this person for the yeah. rest of my life. Like, I feel like. If you're falling in love that many times, then you're not really getting to know anybody. No, yeah, it's true. Because I think it takes time to, to like, you can fall in love fast, but to stay in love, it takes time because you really never stop learning about another person. So I feel like if in three years you're still in love with this, I feel like three years is like the mark of like, okay, I really married. am in love with this person. 
And then, like, if you continue that on, then great. But I don't think you can make that deep of a connection with that little of time. Mm. Mm. I feel that. Personally. Personally. Yeah. Well, I love you guys and everybody watching. <laughs> make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. We love you, too. <laughs> You are making me blush. No, you know what's crazy though? I'm always like, damn, like I don't think I could love anyone else. And then I'll like make new friends, and I'm like, I love these guys. Yeah. I mean, like a dog. I'm like, I love this dog. No, I can 100 percent love any dog, yeah, a million, like except for the little fucking little things. I don't like the little dog. Little, what little dogs? Just the little rat ones. Little chihuahuas. Chihuahuas, the crusty white ones. This, I, I don't understand. This is my question. How do you end up with chihuahuas? Everybody just got them. I think they just end up on your door, like they just, <laughs> they just around, show up, and they're like, "Please feed me." Let me. I in. feel like it's always the little. <laughs> it's probably the little sibling that sees them. Oh, picks them up. Yeah, the picks street, them up. Like, Can I have yeah that's then, I think that's all that. True. Yeah. I saved a chihuahua once. She got ran over. God damn. And I sent her ass to Oregon, and I was like, "Somebody." Well, I got her a cast because her shit was fucked. But I, you had to pay like five grand to fix her, and I was like, "Yo, she's a chihuahua, and I don't want her, and that's a lot of money." But I found her a good home, so it was nice. That's sweet. Right. Well, on that note, I think we should wrap it up. Pew, pew, Thank pew, you pew. guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, Halloween is coming up. Oh, we got some excited things. Yeah, coming. and if you guys know any people that you would that are in the spooky world that you would like to see as a guest on here, let us know. Or anyone you would like to see as a guest, also let us know. We got some scary Ooh, ass stories. Kind of magician to be on the show. A magician. People. I that fucking be... love magic. Yeah. I Ooh, love that. I think it'd be easy to find one too. Think you find a magician. That'd be cool. That would be so cool. Maybe they could get us into the magic house in LA. No, you guys never heard of it? No. No. It's a magic castle. Cool. And you have to be invited, or if you're a cop, you can go. A cop? Mm -hmm. Why? What? Cops can go in for free. But you have to dress up like a you magician? have magician? No, no, no. <laughs> like a wizard? Like a cop? No, like a, a wizard. Uh, like in a like a tuxedo, a yeah, and a dress. Like you have to dress up. You can't just like Oh, go. cool. It's Ooh. pretty cool. It's really cool. Cool. If you guys ever been to a if you're a cop, please invite us. Yes, please. Awesome. Yeah. But thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, send this to your friends, families, loved ones. Pray for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bye guys. You Love guys. you guys. Peace.